everyone, welcome to this special series, COVID-19, The New Normal. Joining me today is Managing Director of India's leading mutual fund, SBI Mutual Fund, Ashwini Bhatia. Thank you very much, sir, for joining me here. We live in difficult times and there is a lot that is going to change for all of us, including your industry. So considering the amount of risk that we've seen in the market of late uh, as investors, you know, whether you take equity, whether you take debt, uh, certain categories of debt, and of course, it's not across the board, it is, sub, you know, restricted to a few schemes. Uh, but there has been enormous risk that people have seen in the last few months. Uh, and it's only increasing, and it will probably remain so for some time. Do you believe that uh, there will be a natural tendency to shift towards low risk products? Well, <clears throat> there's always a give and take, okay? And uh, investments are subject to market risk. There's no doubt, you know, we've seen last couple of days, you've seen the mayhem in the crude oil prices. Who would have ever thought that, you know, uh, WTI or the NYMEX crude will get into negative territory. So those are unwritten rules. But coming back to your question, you know, whether a customer will look at uh, more risk, I think it is in his nature to always take some risk. So I will not be surprised if for a short time the move, money could move to the banks, but the long term trajectory is that people like to take risk, they would like to do some investments. And our experience over the last four or five years of the massive growth that the mutual fund industry uh, has seen, I believe that the customers will remain here also. We haven't seen too much outflows, you know, if you're talking about AUM. The reduction in AUM is simply on account of mark to market. But most of the customers have kept their faith. I think given the kind of returns the banks are giving, mutual funds should, be, should still be a very good option for customers. Within mutual funds, sir, do you see people uh, and the industry probably uh, putting a bit more focus on the debt side of it? I mean, a large part of the noise around mutual fund, commentary around mutual funds seems to be more on the equity side. And my question was that with uh, you know, people seeing uh, sharp falls in their equity side of their portfolios. Do you feel that they will gravitate also or consider also debt schemes and you as a leading fund house will go out there and tell people to also consider debt as a good investment vehicle in these times? So again, uh, based purely on our experience, <clears throat> last two years especially have seen tremendous amount of flows getting into debt schemes. And that, as I said earlier, is on account of the <coughs> discipline of the, in, the investment teams and the fact that our sales force have focused on products that suit the customer. So as a product, I think it has gained traction. Mutual fund investments still to a very large percentage of the population is looked at as an equity you know, investment only. So I think we have been able to convince customers, tell customers that look, besides equity, there is debt also. But specifically, back to your question, yes, more and more customers are looking at debt also. It's been wonderful talking to you, sir. Thank you very much for joining me and I wish you all the best uh, over the next months and few years in the new world that we all live in. COVID-19, the new normal. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.